Okay. Oh no. Ow. I've got pre traumatic seasonal disorder. I hear this music starting in November. I get flashbacks. There's someone with a chainsaw in the living room. I'm trying to stick the base of the tree in there. <laughs> Me behind it, going to the left, the other left. I hear silver bells. And I want to get a glue gun. <laughs> I forget last year's tragedy when I went to the emergency room with my fingers stuck to my cheek. My cousin, Francine, she's the worst. She's the kind of person that has to bring you a gift everywhere she goes. Last time she came over, she brought a sushi making kit. She owns the fish and chip place in Napanee. <laughs> She's the only one in our family that's tried to keep Christmas going, give you junk. Well, she calls it twee, which is British for crap. <laughs> How long do I have to keep this before I re-gift it back to her? Well, we used to buy for everybody, but we're a very fertile family. So we started drawing names. And then people started complaining that they got the same name over and over again. By people, I mean me. <laughs> because I got her name over and over again. She doesn't need a thing. One year, I was so desperate to get her something original, I bought her a star. Oh, not a twee star, a star in the sky. You get a certificate with it, like the Cabbage Patch doll, and for about the same price. And if you want to know what a Francine constellation looks like, it looks like a woman running around, tearing her hair out, <laughs> trying to find stocking stuffers. Because that was the next stupid idea she got, stocking stuffers. I left the visa bill in so they'd know that I spent double the amount I would have on a really good gift. <laughs> Then we decided we'd play the stealing each other's gift game. You know that game where you open a gift and then somebody next in line steals it? Which is always good for people with childhood issues. <laughs> Takes you back to 1966 when Cousin Jack got the Malibu Barbie and said Santa wanted him to have it. And that I was meant to have the Western Log House. And I know I should have let sleeping logs lie, but I can't. <laughs> anyway, last year we came up with a really good idea. She said that she would go to the States to shop for the day, and I would spend my day at home Googling online. My fingers were exhausted from typing in the expiry date over and over again. <laughs> but when we finished, we got back together, and we had a little eggnog and Red Bull. <laughs> to keep us awake while we divided up how much we owed each other. <laughs> you got the Jersey Boy tickets, that's 138.50, but in the American Money of the Wii game, that's 49.37. Now, did you get the, the flour-free shortbread from the Gluten R Us website? <laughs> and as we were counting up our money, Francine handed me a card. She goes, oh, I know. I know we said we wouldn't get anything for each other, but I got you a gift certificate for a goat. <laughs> you got me a goat? Oh, not for you. For a family in a developing country, you give them a goat. And then they can eat for a year. Do you hate it? I'll take it back. No, you can't give people a goat and then take it back. It's not the stealing game, Francine. <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> yeah, actually, I do like it. It's the best gift you ever got me. And I did mean it. In fact, I could feel, feel my heart grow. <laughs> Twee sizes that day. <laughs> rang. And was it the fairy wind chime she'd gotten me last year? No. <laughs> it was just the oven. 
where we had squeezed out some pre-made cookies onto a sheet, and they were done baking. And as I handed her a cookie and she ate, and there was cookie crumbs coming all over her face, with green food dye all spread out, I took one look at her and I thought, it's true. You should never look a gift whore in the mouth. 